hey uh happy friday it is not friday saturday saturday evening to be exact hello 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 and welcome what up though I'm, i don't know what this come across if you see it like it says it for sure but it says what up though let me see if i can read it backwards um greeting from a detroiter I don't think I'm missing nothing right here. What did I say? Oh, I knew it said native something. Native experience. What up, though? Native. Oh, expert. Lord, expression. Native expression. Greeting from a Detroiter. Synonym. Hello, hi. That's my brother's t-shirt. Um, it was a sweatshirt for my brother's brand. Yes, it's how we greet you from the metro Detroit area. What up, though? What up, though? What up, though? Um, how you doing? Y'all all right? Good. Today's been good. And I don't know why I started recording this video knowing I got water on boiling for some tea. But let me see if I can do this. Um, Because I'll be on here talking about I'm going to be quick. And then I just be talking and the Holy Spirit be moving. And I don't know. I just be going and going. So let me see if I can get this dream out. So I had this dream. Um... Y'all, because the Lord, I got pages about this dream. And it was a very short, short dream. So I had this dream on 10-5, which was on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday night. So um, this is how the dream went, from what I can remember. I was in what appeared to be our upstairs bedroom um, on Prevost. And Prevost is the street that I grew up on. And up, it was a bungalow style house. So the upstairs, you know, two bedrooms downstairs, one bedroom upstairs, which is like a, um, a large bedroom space, right? And during this time, my mom and dad's bedroom was up there. And um, I said my mom was laying um, on the bed, but I was changing the diaper of a newborn baby. And my mom was in the bed and she was kind of laid on her side. I couldn't see all of her, but I could just see like the body part of her. And then I, I laid the baby there and I was changing the baby diaper. Um, newborn baby and I remember the baby had a bowel movement and it was so big right it was just like diarrhea just just stay with me right it was like real liquidy it was loose and it was seedy like and it was a mess and y'all know if y'all didn't change some diapers had some babies y'all know sometimes that can you know how it be it can be a mess right and so I call myself cleaning the baby up and changing it and um she cleaned the baby up and I'm using wipes after wipes after wipes. And you know, she the baby, I don't know if it was a boy or a girl, but the baby done put the hand in. I could just see little fists. I'm like, oh, and then I thought I got it all cleaned up and I turned and it was all up the back. And then I remember calling my mom, like, Ma, it is everywhere. And I remember her turning over and um she turned over. I don't remember her really doing anything to help me clean the baby up, but she had like prepared the garbage can, like a little garbage can little with a plastic bag inside of it that was next to the bed she like took the old one out put a new one in or something like that out with the old and with the new one. okay lord continue to download with this dream um oh i said it's everywhere and that point she turned over to look and saw um and when she turned over i saw like a bandage on her stomach like her abdomen but the bandage was clean but it was coming off but there wasn't like a wound or anything under the bandage so I still don't really understand what that point is about as of yet. But um, just FYI, my mom passed 2014. So my mom has passed. But people ask me, do you do your mom come to your dreams and all that? Like, even before this? No. And I told like, don't don't be coming talking to me. Like, I'm not one of them people. You ain't got to come talk to me in no dreams. I, I, I'm good. We good? We good. You ain't got to. But no, I don't. And typically when I had her in a dream, because I had a dream with her in it last night, we didn't have any communication at all. So anyway, so I'm cleaning up this baby, right? And so I'm talking to the Lord about this dream the next day as I'm driving the car. I'm like, Lord, this baby, whose baby? And the Lord was like, it was your baby. I was like, oh, Lord, I had a baby? <laughs> In the dream, I got a baby? I ain't no, listen, I don't have no babies. My baby, 19 and 25, I ain't have no babies. But the Lord said that was your baby. So we have to look at it spiritually, right? And so... <sighs> What do I do? I'm like, okay, Lord. So I began to take out the major points in the dream. Things like the baby, 
um the bowel movement it was large it was a lot my mom being there being in the bedroom and the bed like those symbolic things okay and try to get the meaning behind those different things right so when i looked up baby it says baby is the beginning of something new something in its infancy or early stages honor from god a gift from god god's promised blessings something to celebrate and you know i released a short word the other day about god telling me to celebrate and so when we think about things that we are birthing, right? People always talk about the things you're birthing in the spirit realm. That's your baby. You birthed it. So God says you have birthed this baby. This is your blessing. This is your promise. This is that thing right there. It's in this infancy stage. And what do we do with infancy stage? We take care of it real close. We do everything that needs to be done for it. They don't have to do anything at this point, but just cry and sleep and eat and poop. And that's it, right? So, um, so then I get to the point about the bed and laying the baby on the bed and, and the bed symbolized a place of rest. God as a place of rest. This is rest um, you, uh, with, you, with your promises and, and, and you rest on God, you rest in God. And then I even looked up into the bowel movement because I kept thinking, I'm like, it looked, <laughs> that's crazy I'm talking about this, but it looked seedy form to me. That's what I kept thinking. Like, it looked like, and for you who've been moms or deal care for babies you know what i'm talking about so when i looked up that type of bowel movement for a baby it says babies have softer seed oh breastfed babies breastfed babies have softer seedier stools due to undi undigested milk so i'm just thinking about that i'm like lord seedy seedy um seeds god's word god's word right so we got this baby, we got this bed, we got this bowel movement, which is um, the baby is the promise. The promise is giving way to the word of God. And it was a lot of it. It was a lot of seeds. And we know we plant seeds, which is God's word. We plant the seeds and uh, I say some plant and, 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 um, and other water, but uh, God brings the increase, right? And so I'm trying to make all this make sense as it because I didn't tell you I had pages and pages but I kept saying Lord okay I need more I need more I'm like what does my mom have to do with this where this is at with my mom and so when it talked about mother I thought about her name or her name and her name was Stephanie and it means crown um or crown of garland um and then when I got to also about mother it said gave me I was led to second Timothy one and five and it says faith that lived in her now lives in you and it was my mother who introduced me to, um, who introduced me. Y'all, we're going to have to walk for a minute because I got to turn this water off. It was my mother who introduced me to um, a relationship with Jesus at a very young age, right? Um, all my life, all my life, I knew that, that my mom loved God and she introduced us to that at a very, very young age. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm about to make this tea real quick. I don't know why I started this video before then. But she introduced us to um, that at a very young age and her relationship with God was always evident, right? Anybody who know her knew that, knew that she loved the Lord. Um, and so just her character, she's very kind, very sweet, very compassionate, very loving, non-judgmental. I have a ton of cabinet. I have a cabinet full of tea. But this one I'm about to drink right now is a bedtime bliss. Um, I'm going to put this tea bag in there and let that steep for a minute. And I'll come back to it. I don't know if I can pause this video and, re and resume where I left off at. So just bear with me. Just bear with me, y'all. It's real life. I ain't got no special editing and none of that kind of stuff going on. But anyway, so those who knew my mom knew that about her. But God gave me more revelation about that um, yesterday morning as I was laying in the bed. And so... Um, that's who my mom was, right? And so, and then the, in the bedroom, just a place of rest, a place of covenant, a place of revelation. Um, so I wrote, I wrote these notes as I was spending time with the Lord and researching and just looking up and just, you know, letting God speak to me about this dream. It says, in a dream, I looked to my mom for help because the poop was everywhere and it was so much and getting to be overwhelming, right? And I think about when I've had my babies when they were young. I, I don't, everybody's different upbringing may be different, but I looked to my mom for, you know, 
for support and I wanted to be with her and be near her and be under her nurturingness if if it, which ain't a word but even when my kids are six years apart and even when I had my daughter I still felt like that like okay my how am I knowing she hungry how am I knowing I'm like like I ain't never did it before but I always wanted to be close to her and and get that nurturing from her and even in that part I started to feel overwhelming and my mom was resting and while I was trying to clean the baby my purpose my blessing cleaned it all up she didn't move or help, but she was there. She didn't move or help, but when I asked for help, she was there. The bed again symbolized God's rest. The baby, the promise, was laying on the bed, God's rest. And um, in that, I, I was led to Hebrews 4, 9 through 11. And I didn't write the scripture in its entirety, but it says, enter into the rest of God. And it's somewhere else where... Somewhere else when I wrote, oh, Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29, Jesus said, take my yoke and let me teach you again, rest, right? So God is saying, I've given you this, 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 um, promise that you have now birthed, but don't forget about the one who's given you the promise because I am the one who can help you and lead you and teach you how to do this successfully. Will it be overwhelming at times? I'm sure we'll feel that way, but know that you can rest in me. I am your place of rest, right? And that's what God is saying. I am in your place. I am the place of rest for you as you go about birthing and walking in purpose in this ministry, right? That you have birth. Don't look at it upon as taking this on um, upon yourself, but knowing and allowing me to work through you as you are. Oh, I feel like I got to sneeze. Um, as you are uh, have birthed this 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 uh, this this, uh, this ministry, this promise, whatever this might be for you, right? And so for me, it's this ministry here that God has given me, where I know my ministry is to encourage. My ministry is to um, to provide hope because that's who I am as a person. Like I never want anyone to feel hopeless, right? And I'm always there to encourage you and cheer you on and let you know you can do this because the Word of God says we can all do we can do all things through Christ. Right. So you may not be able to do this in and of yourself, but you can do all things through Christ, especially if it's something that he's given you to do. Right. So let me see what else I got here. Um, then I had this. So it says, uh, Toya, you have given birth to your promises, purpose. While it's a time of celebration, because my other few dreams I had before this now was about celebrating. Um, celebration and joy as with birthing a newborn baby treat it the same way take care of it protect it don't allow any any and everyone to speak over or into it the baby lying on the bed symbolized again resting your pro again resting your promise the promise i gave you on me this is god right the same faith your mother had you had um, the same faith your mother have, you, ha you mother had, you have. She rested on me, and now she rests in peace. While the promise is a blessing, it would not be easy. It won't be all sunshine and rainbows. But take my yoke, find rest in me, stay attached to me. Let me teach you. So I got all that right. I think that's pretty much that. So as I was laying in bed yesterday, so. I was a pretty avid church goer. Like before COVID, I went to church. Before COVID, I went to church regularly on Sundays. Um, I was at church. I attended Bible study. Even prior to that, at the church I was at before the one I was at now, whatever, um, was a small church. So we were very active in our church and ministry because we were small, right? So I was used to that. We would do, like I said, church on Sunday. We would do Bible study. We would do other things and activities. So I was used to um, being active in church. So during COVID, everything shut down, you all know. And so afterwards, I did go start going back to church. Um, I didn't go to the small church anymore. I went to a bigger church. And I was going, but I wasn't, I didn't feel the urge to go like I did in the past, Right. And I'm like, Lord, what is this? So what have I been doing? I used to watch it online, but I don't even watch it online as much. Um, I watch more like a Bible study. There's a particular Bible study that happens every Friday. So I watch that every Friday, which I love that because it's teaching me. And then I just allow God to minister to me through his word. So I spend time with the Lord reading, um, just, just learning and 
things of that nature is where I have been, right? And so when I was laying in the bed the other day, I still wanted to pay my tithes now. But like, okay, Lord, where am I going to give my tithes to? Where should I give my tithes to, right? And so I'm laying there thinking, and I'm like, um, and then, Lord, I ain't been in church. Like, am I not going to church because I'm being lazy? Or you I just you ain't led me? I don't want to miss it. If you didn't told me to be somewhere and I haven't been there, I don't want to miss it. And then God brought back to me this part of the dream with my mom, right? And so growing up, I'm going to give you a little history. Growing up... Um, like I told you, my mom loved the Lord, and I've known that since I was a little girl. Um, we didn't necessarily attend church regularly on Sunday, but my mom went to Bible class every week, and then we went to private schools. I went to private school from second grade through 10th grade. Um, so private school, we had Bible class. Uh, I think it was called Bible class, whatever that class was, Bible. Um, we had chapel once a week, and we had like revivals and stuff. So I was in that environment, a Christian school, a private Christian school. So um in that but God says and this time that I have called you out that doesn't take away from me continue to teach you and learn you and grow you up and this is where God has for me I don't know where you are and I'm not saying this is what God says for you I'm just giving you the background about what God also revealed to me about my mom in this dream and he said think about your mom character low battery this better not stop recording 10% okay we gotta hurry up um, think about your mom's character. And I told you a little bit about my mom's character. She was sweet. She was kind, compassionate, caring. Everybody who knew her knew she loved the Lord. There was no doubt about it whatsoever. She loved Jesus. She worshiped. And um, she was never, we never really went to church like religiously every Sunday, that kind of thing growing up. There were times we would go to visit different churches. I can't remember if we, how often we would go, but I remember going, right? Um, and so God says, even in that you knew who um, I was to your mother, right? You knew who I was to her and you knew how important I was to her. And so at this point in time, let me see, I thought I wrote this out. <sighs> That's when God brought my mom yesterday's dream back to my mom, as I noted above. I'll continue to attend Bible study and send my tithes. Um, talked about her character. Because um, she didn't, pres this is what I did. She didn't prescribe, prescribe, subscribe. She didn't subscribe. Is that how you say it? Prescribe is when I write a prescription. Pre subscribe. She didn't subscribe to religion, right? Like religious culture. Um, she didn't attend church weekly, but Bible class, she did. And everyone who knew her knew she loved God. So I felt God was saying that to me because as I've learned that people names and um, when they people names and dreams, it may not necessarily be even about that person. It may just be the meaning of their name. And then it may be about their character or something they represent. And God says, at this point, when he was teaching teaching me and speaking to me about this, my mom and this dream, it was talking about her character and who she was and how she was just resting in God. Like, I just remember her laying in that bed and she was just at peace. I, I assume she was sleeping, but maybe she was just resting. And I was there doing what I was doing to this baby, trying to clean it up. And she ain't bud. She ain't looking at me. She ain't think two, two cents about me. She was resting, but when I called her, she was available, and she came to my rescue to help me. Um, and so that's what God says. You rest in me, daughter. At this point in time, you rest in me, and I'll continue to teach you and lead you and guide you. And when it's time for you to go out, whatever that looks like, because I don't believe I'll be called to conventional um, ministry, um, then I'll continue to lead you in that. So, y'all... Um, I hope I got everything. This dream, I, I was, it was so short, but it had so much. And I had so many pages of notes and I was just like, Lord, I don't want to miss anything. What, what, I don't want to miss anything. And then I was even, we even started talking about fertilizer, right? And how manure is fertilizer and it causes things to grow. And I'm like, okay, Lord, we're talking about poop and these seeds and fertilizing and growing and it causes growth. And it was so many seeds. It was just seedy. And it was so much, and it was the word of God, and it's the word of God, and it's the word of God, and it is the word of God. And he says, do what it is that I have put in you to do. That is natural for you. And that is to encourage. That is to um, provide hope. And, um, and I'll continue to do that. And I'll continue to try to make these videos. I'll continue to try. This is all new for me, even with this whole dream thing. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure I didn't miss nothing. 
You are the plant. You are to plant the seed and I'll do the rest. First Corinthians 3, 6 through 9. I guess I'll end it on that note. Let me say it again. You are to plant the seed and I'll do the rest. And I have 1 Corinthians 3, 6 through 9. So, y'all, that was a lot. Leave whatever comment you can that you want under there. Um, I feel like God still has more to download to me about this drink, but I want it to be obedient and, and, and make sure I'm putting out what it is that God has given me because I don't want him to stop giving it to me. If that, you ain't doing nothing with what I'm giving you, what I'm going to keep giving it to you. And I don't want him to do that. Um, I've had a couple more dreams. So I'm about to sit here and allow God to minister to me about those and, and go drink my tea real quick. Um, but I'm not adding no videos. I'm not editing, editing any videos. What you see is what you get. Um, I'm not doing any of that, but I want to make sure that we understand that as we birth these promises, as God is just now this, 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 this promise, this baby has been, um, you know, in the womb for nine months or so. And now we have birthed it, which is a joyous thing, right? It's amazing. Babies bring so much joy to people. Um, but God says, just know that you continue to rest in me, continue to rest in me, continue to allow me to lead you and guide you. And you continue to spread the seeds, the word of God, and um, I'll do the rest. I'll do the rest. You just be obedient. It makes me think, here we go, still talking. I'm going to say this last thing. It made me think about Deuteronomy. I was reading through Deuteronomy and it just was like, to me, I feel like it was a recap of everything that they had been through, right? The Israelites and Moses was telling them what they had been through and reminding them what God had brought them through. And he just kept saying, the Lord keeps saying, and all you do, I'm taking you to this promised land. I'm taking you into this promised land. All you do, continue to obey me. Continue to keep my commands and all will be well with you. Continue. And I'm like, he said it over and over and over and over again. If you haven't read it, take your time to read Deuteronomy. Find a good uh, translation that you can read easily. But he do. It's like Moses is um, kind of giving them the replay of they bent what they've been through with the Egyptians and the desert and all these things. And he said, and the Lord just kept saying, keep my commands, keep my commands, just keep my commands. Don't stray away from me. Don't turn away from me. Do what I tell you to do. I'm taking you to the promised land. Keep my commands. God said, you have birthed this promise. I don't know what I'm spitting. You have birthed this promise. Keep my commands. Continue to keep me first. Continue to keep me as your first love and all will be well. It won't be easy right? It won't be easy, but you rest in me. You rest in me. You allow me to replenish. You allow me to refill. You allow me to uh, teach you my ways and all would be well. <sighs> okay, y'all, that's all I got. That's it. I don't know. I pray y'all have a good evening. I pray this, this video minister to you in some way, shape, or form. Allow God to speak to you how he chooses to speak to you about it. But I just knew I had to get it out there. I pray y'all have a blessed night and I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.